Hey guys and gals, welcome to the start of another LEGO set build. Here we have, I believe this is the Wildlife Safari Rescue. Here we have Mia. And this is set number 41717 and it contains about 430 bricks. So this is the next specimen and we have a set of stickers. I'm going to try to keep the belly aching down to a minimum here. As a lot of you know how I feel about those. Yeah, well, let's just get right on into it here. And we obviously know how to use the brick separator. So we're going to be covering all the bags in here. I think there's, there's four bags in total. And, yeah, let's just get right on into it. And unlike a few of the other sets that were kind of dull and depressing, this one actually has some pretty decent colors in it. So it's not, you know, something pretty dry. And the first thing we have here is the giraffe. Some say it kind of looks too frenzy, but, well, Lego doesn't have an actual giraffe. I think this is the first of its kind. I'd like to get two or three of these. We'll see what we can do. It's pre-molded. The legs don't move or anything. So, But we're not reviewing the giraffe. That's just what the instructions call for. So, basically that's what it is. The, the giraffe is the step. Let's start putting together our figure. So how's everybody today? I hope everyone's doing well. I'm starting to feel a little better. I just sound very raspy. I just have a little bit of that, you know, that that aftertaste, the smell when you, you know, your taste buds get all messed up. Anyways, though, I've been kind of thinking about certain things that I've been doing with Lego, and well. I've noticed something. I'm getting behind on my own my own projects. And the reason being is all the set reviews that I have been doing. I mean, I've been doing bunches of these things. And I may have to turn down some offers. That sounds kind of weird. Oh, Jay, you're going to miss out on all the stuff. But, you know... Here's the zebra. It looks like a little horse. Uh, some people say they look like they look too frenzy, but we don't have an actual zebra yet, so that's the closest we're going to get. So the next thing we're going to be building is a little ATV thing. So yeah, um, this this is what's kind of slowing me down on building the custom stuff so I need to start getting picky and just be like turning down offers <laughs> like if I may just because like we get to pre-screen things and I may have to be like well I'm already got a bunch of tutorials like the backcountry camping or the campground that mock that I still would want to build I haven't even got to it yet it's not hard it's just time wise so it's just about getting this stuff done here. We got a dark blue scorpion. It's a nice change for once to have something with bright colors in it um, instead of just the muted stuff and the Lego builds. Even for adults like, uh, like us who uh, build this stuff, we don't want to just be dazzled with the muted colors. Yeah, the main channel's picking up, and I think it's because I've been uploading almost daily, and that's the trick. And for me, I Eventually, I like to do these type of builds as the review. This will be the review. 
uh, eventually and then everything else will just be like whatever like the unboxing will be separate and then the bill would just be this so I'd have to keep everything on topic but I haven't figured that out yet okay so yeah I'm trying to think of some fun stuff for for summer fun I have some ideas I haven't filmed any tutorials I've got ideas jotted down I still got a bunch of tutorials that I have to edit but as far as for new stuff I don't I almost missed a page here and this is another example uh, these look like they're different colors in the manual it's just hard to tell I know a few of you have already told me that you just have a hard time yeah it's me too I I have a hard time distinguishing what certain colors do so I just have to deal with it you know I first thought maybe I'm just going colorblind I'm getting older and stuff and you know Yeah, I'm trying to think of some activities to do this summer. So I don't have to be too depressed and being cooped up at home. <laughs> or work. For those who don't know, I'm in a desert. So just imagine being cooped up at home in a desert. And you have to work. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, not quite of a vac. That's not quite a summer vacation. Yeah, we get plenty of sun, but the nearest beach is several hours away from me. I tell you one thing though, I love coral. This is such a beautiful color Lego has released. It's just got that summer color fun. Summer fun color. It just looks fun. It's kind of like a watermelon, but it's just it's just the color of it. Reminds you of swimming and such. Oh, we're going to put a sticker on a tile. Well, that's not a shocker. So Take one of these uh, little flowers, and you know what? I know these are friends' flowers. I'm starting to hoard those up um, for different types of gardens and such. Oh, so it's kind of like a little uh, a little thing here. I'll show you here in a second. Something like that. So I'll try not to be so depressed here. <laughs> that just sits on the jumper plate. You can leave it crooked too to make it look more realistic. And I'm just trying to think of some interesting stuff just to kind of, you know, get out of the house there when you're in a desert there's not a whole lot you really it's like going hiking or something like that I have to travel several hours so basically I'm in a big sandbox and I know some have requested on my scenic channel it's like well why don't you just go like into the like into the back deserts and look around I'm like that's something you do like in December or January. You would never want to do that, you know, any other time. Oh, we got to put a sticker on that. Oh, I thought this would be printed. Well, my voice is cracking too. I feel really good. It's just how it is
Oh, and yes, I will be roasting these stickers, like peeling them right off when I get done with these reviews off the friend sets. Friend sets are good for one thing for me, and that's for the parts. They got great parts for making things. So something like this, for example, right here. You can clean this up, make it red or blue, and there you go. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with these. I wish they would make this thing here six studs wide. It look really cool. All right. Okay, well I got one tire on, huh? We went. I'm trying to think the last thing that we did on my scenic channel. Um, it was just a quick trip up into the mountains to check something. And it was like a hundred or so in the valley and you went up there. It was like cold and foggy. And I'm trying to remember what that place was called. I can't remember what it was. And my nephew was with my dad and I, and we kind of just walked, and that's when we kind of thought it'd be kind of cool to uh, to do all the hiking stuff. And that's done. Not too bad of a build. And with the cost of everything, like travel and stuff going up now, a lot of people, I think, are going to be staying at home. That's sad, but it's true. Or my friends are like, oh, I'm staying home summer because it's just too expensive. And and I'm like, I, I, I hear you. I may just fix my car up and like do a complete restoration on it. Uh, I have nowhere to work on it where it's cool. It's not a computer, so I can't just do that. I think of how I want to tackle that job. I know my nephew wants to help, so I'm like, yeah, maybe we could do that this summer. I got to get some stuff working on it before uh, I even think about taking it down to the paint booth and have it repainted. Since now cars are cars are just expensive now. It doesn't matter. You can buy a clunker now, and they're expensive. Just gotta be. You just gotta be really. You gotta keep your eyes peeled on what you're looking for. Cars are just pricey. So I remember when I was a kid, though. Speaking of that, going camping was very affordable. You know, it was a cheap vacation. That's all my parents could do at the time, and it, it is what it is. Shows it like that, but yeah, get a brown one. But now, with travel and the travel cost. It's uh, it's not cheap anymore. So camping now is uh, it's just not what it used to be. And with everything being under fire out here, you know, And I have a feeling this year a lot of places are, you know, like with the everything pre-pandemic, you know, probably everything will be closed down again. But uh, well, what can you do? And it won't be for pandemic reasons; it'll just be because of the uh, just because of the fire season. Some places like back east. Those guys are lucky. They got a lot of water. Out here it's like 
No, we don't get a lot of that. We don't even know what water is anymore. <laughs> So I'm mean, trying to do my part, cutting back as much as I can. All right. So, what is this? The tree, I believe. I don't know. Yeah, it's the scraggly tree. I think it's an acacia tree. We don't know what it is. <laughs> There we go. Not too bad. I think there's supposed to be something that goes in there. Maybe the scorpion or something lives in there. I think he's supposed to go in there. You just do this. So you have to get pick, get up down on the floor and pick that up. Yep, that's where he ran off to. On the floor. Okay. Well... Let's put that on the floor, too. It's trying to keep the power cord out of the way. Well, i got to find out what page I was on. All right. Um, I already got here. So this should be a very fast build. There's some really good parts in here. I'm just hoping the stickers are not on the parts that I need. <laughs> so far i got billions of those orange tiles, but that coral piece, no I don't. Wow, really? I don't want to put a sticker on that. They want me to put a sticker on this slope here. Now, here's a map piece. That would make a good map for a little campground. I mean, it would. What are we doing? I don't know. I don't know what we're doing with that at yet. It might go on one of those plates later on. And I'm having a hard time getting these stickers on here. I feel like a four-year-old putting stickers on everything. All right. Yeah, I had to put a sticker on that. Put the big tiles in first because we're going to have to fill in that little thing. Those little corner tiles are always cool. Okay, I was like, are we missing something there? No. We just got to put this in here. So, yeah. This is like a nice little set you do, like, during the summertime. Don't do this in the don't do this if you live in a desert because it'll just make you feel hotter. <laughs> this is supposed to be um, that's like a safari type thing. just doesn't want to go in. <laughs> I think the tree attaches to that. Lego, can you please put the highlights in some of these parts? Because it would make it a lot easier to see them. I do that in my manuals because I want the build experience to be pleasant. We don't want somebody stressing out on that. Yeah, so what is everybody going to be doing for 
their summer break. Or I told you my depression. <laughs> my excitement, you know. A lot of people don't really comment on these. I try to keep them as interactive as possible. And I just realized something. I was watching a video and I decided to film this. Okay. I think that's coral in the book. It looks pink. I love those coral flowers. I need to get a bunch of those. Just slurp those up. All right, so now we got to build the tree. Well, I don't see the pin. Did I lose it already? It's a little Technic pin with cross axle. I know I've seen it, but it could have rolled on the floor. It could have got mixed up in another bin. So, let me go rustle one of those up. That's what I misplaced right there, so I don't know what happened to it. And, you know, these are just so common now, I don't even care. It's probably in another bin. Lego's pretty darn accurate when it comes to parts, so. Sets missing pieces. I've had it happen, but very seldomly it will ever happen, though. All right. Now I want to show you something here. It looks like it goes down in the center tube. It doesn't. Right there. So, if you're confused on that, it's like this. It won't stay in there. So, just kind of want to point that out. You can always read ahead a few steps, too. But sometimes you just don't know. So they've been using a lot of these lately for trees and like the, uh, the orchid, succulents and all that stuff. And pretty clever idea, just the hose in the middle kind of set it off a bit. And I'm already getting attacked by the yawn monster. Alright, and then this goes in here. That is why I have the camera the angle that it's at. So you can see what I'm doing here. Alright. We gotta make two sets of leaves. And these are uh, sand green too. So Um, you mix these with the dark green, like the earth green, not this green. It'd make great, you could use that for evergreens and stuff too. It would just work. It would just work. All right, so. Alright, so you have to put the flower on first. And those are just in bright light orange. And then set these on the top. Um. Oh, I see how those go in. Okay, they just go inside the nose cone. They look like they're not going to fit in there all the way, but they will. So, something like that. There. 
And I just noticed something here. Oh no, I did it right. And then you got another one you got to do too. This stuff is not so common because I don't have these leaf pieces in that color of these flowers. No. And you, know, you you could expand on this if you want to. All right, so we put that in there, and then two more of these. Yeah, I'm excited for Minecraft 119 to come out. Thing is, I just don't have really any time to sit down and play it. Not until summertime, anyways. So this goes in there. Hopefully, that's when they'll release it. But there we go. Pretty scraggly, and they do show the scorpion in there, and that's what it's for. Even the hand is purple too. So, of course, you just set the scorpion in there, and you just launch it out. Pretty cool. And that concludes bag one. And I have a bunch of parts here. Like I don't remember using the using these, so I gotta check my work. So let's take a look here real quick. Maybe I forgot to put them on one of the builds or something. Maybe I need to focus more. Oh, I do see where those go. Alright. It's like, man, we have a lot of parts there. No, no, now I know why. They're supposed to go there. So that's all you build there. For bag one, trying to get everything lined up here. So you have the scorpion tree, a little off-road ATV, Mia, the zebra, and the giraffe. So not too bad for bag one. So here we are with bag two, so we're building this figure, and we're going to start working on the medical center, and no, <laughs> that's not full of ice cream, so I got one of these containers, these are pretty good for storing larger bricks, and I found this on the floor, so we weren't missing anything, so, yep, professional sorting trays, all right. Let's get started on that there. Can you see where I'm building? Yep. Try to give you a, a better angle than what I have. Sometimes I have to look through the camera just to see what I'm doing. I think this bag had the cool stuff. I don't know if it did. I think it was bag three. There's some pieces in here that I really want. So. Obviously not that. I gotta not put that down there. Um, I love cool yellow. All right. I mean, it's a soothing yellow. It's like banana color. For one more of those. And I know I don't have these in this color yet. Never saw the need to get them. And yeah, let's uh, wrap around the corner here. Yeah, so so far the build on this is enjoyable. It's brightly colored, it's not dull, nothing repetitious so far. But you already know the downside of this, and I don't need to 
say that on here. You can already know what I'm what I'm thinking. I need a bunch of these one by three dark orange tiles. Wow, sand green profile brick in here. That's unusual. And yeah, we have still a bunch of stickers left. So you know that those are going to go somewhere on here. And let's hope it's not something important that I need. So I hate to think it's going to go on some of the parts that I actually just want for a mock. I was told, though, after, after we review these, we can do what we want with them. But my interpretation of that is until I re until I review the set and release it, it's technically not my building set because I haven't fulfilled my deal, my duty to 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 review these. You know. Well, I see a sticker coming up. Okay. And it involves this. Alright. So, you know what? That's not really a bad. I wish this was printed on that tile. That'd be great for a house. You know? This would be great for a like a like a like a mat for a door, a welcome mat. Stuff would be good for mocks, but it would not be good for tutorials. So don't worry, I won't be using that sticker in any tutorials. <laughs> Yeah, I do need to take, um, ooh, I gotta dig that out of there. I gotta take a break from filming after a while, because I've been doing non-stop, like, filming almost every night since, uh, I started getting offers, and, speak. and I, I've always hated to say this, but it's starting to feel like a job, you know. Yes, I get to keep the prize and stuff like that, but and I get the parts. I mean, who really wants to do work stuff? But well, that's just how it is. Alrighty. Can I just set this on here? Yep. Let's get this going here. And I don't have these just didn't get stickered, but I do need a few of these. I don't know about orange, but I do need those. Regardless of the color. Okay. And then we have to get a profile back here. So I'm not sure. You know, I could probably split this thing down into two builds. I'm not sure yet. Let me grab this here and see what time it is. Uh. Yeah, I may have to split this thing down into two builds. I was hoping not to do that, but it's not like it's hard or anything. It's just, uh, you know, just I got other projects I want to do. I really want to get into building my own goods, you know, my own goodies for you guys and gals to enjoy, you know. Because all I'm doing is copying the picture. I basically what you're doing when you're doing my tutorials is copying the picture, but mine's is just awesome. And must 
be something that goes in here. Now I don't have these in this color. These would work good for sink basins, even in this color, for like making a really retro bathroom or something. Not sure what goes in there. Maybe that's the critter box. I don't know. Well, I forgot. I'm kind of silly. There's the progress bar at the bottom, huh? Well, sometimes I just can't do it with one hand. Yeah, my hair is getting long, too. I need to get it cut. getting summertime and I don't need to be overheating when I start seeing it falling down in my eyes it's uh, time to uh, to get it cut again I used to have the shoulder length hair and yeah I'm not doing that that's I didn't look too good with that. Oh no! Oh, I need these in its current form. I need this in tan. What does it want? A sticker of just some random. Well, keep it family friendly stuff. So I got to put the sticker in there. And those are not easy to remove. I didn't get it centered. So it's just basically bookshelves thrown in there. I would have just made some brick books in there. I wouldn't have just done that. I need that too. <laughs> oh, and those are good for campers, but no. It's been stickered. So once this review is over, I'm going to remove that. Usually I keep the stickers in those, but those I have to draw in. Or I could just buy more. Something else we got to deface here in a second, so let's just get this out of the way. Don't have, we don't have a 1x6 in coral. Yep, so I'm releasing the Cozy Camper. Um the end of May. It's probably already released by now. It depends on when I release this video. If not, then you know you get a spoiler alert. Yeah, and I'm still getting questions like, when are you going to release it? I'm like, well, uh, let me uh, prepare it. I think that is the sticker. Yep. So I'm trying to get the camper done. As a matter of fact, though, you could still use these sticker pieces for the campers to decorate them up. So there we go. So yeah, cozy camper and I think of anything else that I gotta get done that'll take care of May. June, uh, I got some good stuff for you guys uh, in store. July, I haven't really finished up yet. In August, I kind of know where I'm gonna go. Now, I've been getting requests for more vehicles. Now, my vehicle spill, well, skills are lacking. Well, a lot of people like my style of build, so I'll make more vehicles this summer. So while some of us are unlucky enough and are spending summer at home, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make, I'll make it work for you. Maybe we'll have our own Lego vacation or something. Alright, so that's what it is. It's just a little shelf that sits on the top here. Here we go. I have a buddy that always brags about 
vacations and stuff. He just likes rub it in my face. You know, and I'm like, well, some of us just can't, you know, we can't just get off and do things. Or some people just don't want to do it and kind of just rubs it in and I don't have the heart to rub it in and say, well, I have a car to drive. He has to take the train or uh, an Uber or whatever and I'm or a friend and I'm like, no, I don't need to do that. I can drive a car and I mean, he's got a license, but he doesn't. I don't like driving. But if I need to go somewhere, that's what I'll do. Is if I need to drive somewhere, I will. Hmm. You know, you're probably wondering what's going on that, huh? There we go. See, I'm trying my hardest not to bellyache through it. It goes here like that. And so far, the sticker sheet it doesn't look like that. You do it like this, you can see we've probably got about 20% of that consumed. And that's part of bag two. Bag two is the worst because bag two has the most bricks. We're still on bag two. <laughs> because now the rest of it's probably that right there. These round bricks are pretty cool. I just wish they didn't have these stupid notches at the bottom. They make great curved walls. You don't have that nasty hole on the side. Sometimes you just don't know where these pieces go here. Yeah, I hate when you have a vacation plan that just falls through. You know, I forgot to do, put the minifigure together. <laughs> yeah, we'll do her real quick. Because I gotta find oh, this. And I think they're all. I think there's two ladies and one gentleman. Yep. Stickers. Like it's just one of those. Okay. But yeah, the color scheme on this is pretty pretty colorful. I mean, this is these are summer colors here. This is they got a little bit of everything. And this is nougat or light. No, it's not light nougat. It's just nougat. Not sure where that attaches yet. Now these are also a nice piece to have too. These uh, wall elements. No matter if they're transparent because it does fill in all those gaps. Great for making aquariums and stuff, or round windows if you got them in clear. This I need to put somewhere where it doesn't, because I don't want to slide it on the table and scratch it. Yes, I'm one of those people. I don't want my bricks all scuffed up. We have these. Why do we have these? Unless they're using part of it for a sticker. Alright, and this goes here. I think what we'll do is we're going to finish this up in one sitting. 
So if you're trying to fall asleep, there you go. Knock yourself out. Okay, well these will have to be mushed on the table and line them up. Or just, I don't want that rolling on the floor. There we go, that should line it up really good. Oh, there's more. Okay, so what do we put here? Something that hangs on that? Oh, something got... That something didn't get stickered. And this goes right here. Okay. And then we finish this up here. Alright, I think that's the only thing we got to do in this step here. And then I got to check on some work related stuff before. Before I continue on with bag three, but you won't know that because I'll have all that edited out for you. Spare you the boring stuff. Okay, so this does fit right in this little notch area here. And this goes on the top. No sticker? Something must attach to that. No sticker on that. Well, cool. I can always use those type of windows. Jay, you're starting to bellyache. No, well, I'm going to bellyache with that coming apart. Which way did that go? Kind of brittle, huh? Yeah, so, so far, this is a very relaxing build. It's not... It, the color palette's all over the place. It's not depressing. It's just you just put the parts in and you're done. You know, it's basically what it is. Uh oh, well, some of you already can guess. I'm like, uh oh. Okay, what is that there? Oh, it's a calendar. Well, April of 2022. <laughs> Let's see something here. I can't remember. It's been that's last month. I don't really care. Wow, my views have shot up on YouTube since I've been doing daily, um, daily videos. Except for Friday, Saturdays and Sundays, that's my time off. Let's take a look at April. Oh wow, that actually is an accurate calendar. April 2022, that's accurate. I could have just pre-printed this beforehand, would have been better. Once I get it on, I'll show you a little better here. So, I don't know how good that's going to pick up. 2022, it's the same thing. <laughs> but that wasn't printed, that would have been an epic piece to have. And this goes here. We don't have a lot left. The 1 by 16, and then the... One by two here, and I'm assuming that this goes here. So there is enough room in there if you want to play around and stuff. Actually, she's got a nice wig. 
And those are compatible too if you need the wigs. Just save the wigs. You know, I'm not a fan of friend stalls, but sometimes they're pretty cool to look at. It's a change from the regular old minifigures we have in our regular sets. Here, you could sit here and look at the sky. Well, you won't be looking at the sky, excuse me, because we're going to have to floor it up here. You may want to wiggle that window down in there. She's probably like, no, but I'm looking at the LED light. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to wall it up for you. Had a ceiling. Now you can just stare at the tubes on the bottom. And don't be thinking about going over here, because that is next. Okay. And I think we are done with that. And this is what we have left for bag two. Not a whole lot this time. Alright, let's do bag three here. And bag three, we just continue on the big thing. So I'm going to show you what we get in there. And this one is the one that has the goodies. Not because of this big thing. It's part of it. But they finally make this in clear. And the reason why I'm looking for these, great picture windows for houses. You know... I've been looking for them. The only thing they had them was in the, the transparent uh, blue. But this bag here is not that big. It's very small, so we could probably blaster this. It'll probably take us more time to put the figure together. I don't know what... Um, I think this is a guy... Let me go, you know what, let me get the box. I think this is a dude. How I know I can just... <laughs> uh, how, how do you know? You just have to check the... The chest. I mean, it looks like a girl, but I can't tell. Well, I gotta find the box now. So, we had Dr. McKenna... And Joquin, Joc, Joquin. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Doesn't have an A at the end, so I'm assuming it's a male. The hair fooled me, but also I'll show you here. Well, maybe not. No. You can obviously tell by the chest. So this is obviously a male, I think. Because it looks like he's wearing shorts and she's got the skirt on. So I'm only assuming that that's a man or a boy. Depends on how you look at it. But anyways though, he's got a camera. So we'll put that together. Somebody can help me out with that would be cool. Because someone on my main channel will probably roast me and go, You couldn't pronounce that right. Not really. Okay, I put the wrong stud on there. It's supposed to be black. There we go. All right, so we got, I'm just going to say him. I got him done. It's probably the tour guide. We don't know. I'm just guessing here what he is. Um, let me move all this out of here, and then we'll start back in here again. So, we got her. We got supposedly him. Can he fit in there? Okay, so you can actually play around in this. We'll set that. We'll set them in here. So the 
LED doesn't, they don't get that LED burn. Well, my hands are just a little too big to attach those in there. Let me, uh, there we go. Let's build it first. Well, let's put the sticker on it. I mean, how are we doing on the sticker sheet? I mean, we're getting there. Um, all right. It's hard to tell with the color of this. I'm glad they have it numbered. It's this one right here. So, this one is not squared. So I can just set this one down almost anywhere I want. And that's okay. I mean, I guess. Doesn't really matter because I'm ripping that off when I get done with this. Let's just hope there's not a sticker on that um, on that glass piece because that would make a great picture window for a vintage house. Jay, you don't want to put, you don't want to use that window for a, a, a an old house. Why don't you use a modern, make a modern house, all white, eh, white house. I want to make, I want, well, not a rainbow house, but something with more character. Well, why don't they just have a stack two of these on top of one another and drop it on the other side? Unless that's not what goes there. No, but it is. So. Can I get those mushed down? And then this goes in this corner. It's probably why the bag's kind of deceiving. Like, oh, you don't have a lot of parts to put in here. It looks like I do. I need about two or three of those big windows. These are, you know, the usual thing, but, you know, they're, you know, I, you know, those make great for buildings like department stores and stuff. Let's see here. And... Oh, it got it got unscathed. We don't have to worry. I've always wanted to do that. Yeah, I mean, I could admire this piece all day. Just imagine that sitting in a vintage house, put in bay window. That'd make a great piece for a bay window. Overlooking the beach. I mean, it would work really well. Could do that. It's Lego, right? We could do whatever we want and make it look really good. Okay. So this bag here is just basically, you know, the sec it's part of the second story, but I'm not sure what we're doing here with it. on top of one another. I mean, we're over halfway through. Uh, we're going to put a sticker on that. First, I got to find it. Oh, it's a white one. I was looking for gray. So you got to put a sticker on this. And that is a keyboard. 
Oh yeah, guys and gals, but don't worry, I'm not going to be using these stickered pieces for any of my mocks. Like, I'm kind of going easy on when I do the campers. Start using the gray tiles. Now they have like a kind of like a metallic tile, you know, so you don't have to really hunt for special parts. Okay. Ooh. The map goes in here. And what does it want to do? Go in crooked. It's not like I can just easily pull those out. Yeah, pretty good for me. That's the map right there they were talking about. So I guess it's supposed to simulate like a big screen or something. Or just decorate around that and make that into a, uh, uh, a campground map or something. Or a map for a zoo would be pretty cool too. Alright. More stickers. Oh. <laughs> they want a sticker on that column. I don't use columns, but still. I think I'm spending now more time now putting the stickers on than I'm actually building. And it went crooked. And you know what? I don't care. <laughs> The set will instantly just get a 5 out of 10 for me. It's fun, it's just... It's just not custom enough. Alright. And we got to put another one on the other side of this. Cool! I just love putting stickers on my parts. It's so fun. handed too, which I can't do. That's probably why this bag did not have a lot of parts in it. Because you're just sticking stickers on that whole little piece. And as bad as that looks, that's done. You really can't flatten this thing out, so you're going to have to uh, kind of just mush it in as best you can. And it goes right here. Yay, another window. I can always use these. It's not a big one, but it's close. And just like with the art school, you can pretty much guess that this is pretty much left open. I mean, it's left open. What the gold ink or the orange ingot didn't get a sticker? be some kind of a light. Honestly though this set's got some great pieces for hospitals and doctors offices and stuff so or even a veterinarian 
if you want to build yourself a little vet, a veterinarian hospital for your city, you know this is a this is a good little inspiration right here. Just uh, take the uh, ideas and even some of the stickered stuff, and you could come up with your own clinic. Instead of using their clinic, you can make your own. Just about done with this bag. Maybe not. No, I don't see a sticker. It's just uh, a lot of little pieces here. right there. All right. And yeah. Sand green door frames. No door that goes in there. So this is a doorless clinic. So just imagine all the dust and critters just going in there. They can just they can just free roam as they please. And I can always use those as long as there's not a sticker on it. Oh, I got to put a sticker on that tile now. That's very critical. How are we going to know if it's straight? I'm just going to attach it to one of these bricks here. And then find the top and set the top that's parallel to this, like right here. I'm not an expert on stickers, of course, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get that on there any straighter. I don't know how I managed to get that in the center, but I did. But that's what you do. So now you can just stick that on there. That tile will be spared when I'm done with the review. I'll probably keep the welcome mat, I don't know yet. Okay. And we're getting this corner here done. So, this tile is just tacked in there like that. So it looks like maybe we've got some kind of a tree growing up the side of the building. Maybe ivy or something. I'm not sure what that is yet. If it shows it not even at the top here, that's correct. So you did it right if you did. And we are almost done. I think that's it for this bag. That's exactly what it is. Alright. So, that's pretty much what we did there. And that's what we have left. Alright, so here we have bag four, which is the last of the bags. And, yeah, we got a lot of bricks in there now. So, I think now we're getting to the big stuff. Okay. So, we have one of these rods, I think that's probably for the railing. We do get some doctor stuff, we'll take a look at that closely. And I'll try to hold back the spoilers on this one. You probably already can guess what the spoilers are. And this just sits in there, so it's probably like a little pond or something up there. Well, it's not a pond. So, why must this round stuff fall down 
where I can't get it. So, this is actually like a little seat up here. So the leaf is hidden inside, and I'm not going to explain why is there a leaf hiding in there. Some of you probably can use your imagination. There's probably something in here that we're not supposed to know about that's going on, huh? Some of you are probably like, oh, yeah. Making them real Lego. Making everything realistic. So this just goes on the top. It's probably plant food or something. Okay. I know on the box there's something that runs up here with lots of stickers. So I have a feeling uh, that's what we're building next, apparently. At least it's big bricks. It doesn't look so bad right now. Well, she'll get to the punchline here in a second. And she probably already haven't guessed by now. I gotta put one, two, and three on that. In that order. Those would have been awesome if they were printed. Matter of fact, these stickers would make great um, hieroglyphics for like a temple or something. See, anytime I have to fight with the stickers, it just detracts from the, the build value. But see, that's what it is. You really can't even tell. And of course, if you put the sticker on backwards, just take the tile off and, well, rotate it around. Now yeah, that one's a little crooked, but... No one's really going to care. Yeah, but that's the difference between my... Uh, sets that I buy and what Lego provides because I don't put the stickers on the stuff that I buy. So now, as you can see, we don't have a lot of stickers left. And yes, it does indeed match. Well, no it didn't. Okay, I need to pop these two off here. Drafts are supposed to go on the top. How I know this is, I don't really tell you until you get to here. Just line up the, the graphics and making sure it looks good to me. <laughs> and it just rests on these angular bricks and plates like that. Starting to look like something cool. And now here comes the fun part. Is attaching this rod on here. And it, sh it may not be that bad. And you got to bend it around this corner and go in there. So, a couple ways you can do it. You can just force it. Or you warm them up a bit. And the reason being is it's not so stiff. I'm only going to be bending part of this here, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, pop that in there real quick. That should just go in real easy. Like that, and yeah, it sits about that. And you can just mold it in, make sure everything's set correctly. 
And that's how you do it. Just warm it up in your hands and stick it in there. Now let's start making the, uh, the tree now for this. Oh, when that thing cools back down, that won't, that'll stay, that'll keep its form until you heat it up again. You can also put it in like, some people will put them in like an oven for maybe a, you know, a few minutes. The oven's got to be set on low, or if it's hot outside, or even run a hair dryer on it too, on low heat. Just heat it up a little bit and make it soft. Now, I'm not responsible if you scorch your Lego, so you may want to just, you know, take that for just quick advice there. So that just clamps on the rail. That's all it does. That's what it is right there. It just sits there. It's, you know, does it have to be straight? No, it doesn't have to. is the little satellite dish. We still got a bunch of parts left here. And uh, it is, well, a, mm, this is going to be an over two hour video, a two hour installment. I thought, oh, it's only got 400 pieces. This is not too bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to start breaking these down to 250s a piece. You know, 250 pieces is going to be my limit. Sometimes I just want to hurry up and get them done so I can go back to building the stuff that matters. I never think about using those for the satellite dish. Well, now we learned something new. Good inspiration there. Oh, there's more leaves we got to put on. There's one that goes over here. And looks like it drops there. Let me look. Yeah. It's this stud right there. And then we attach more stuff to it. And this one just goes in this tube right here. Stick that peg right in and just wiggle that down in there. Something like that. Okay, now we're building something that's mystery because it doesn't tell me in the manual what we're building. And I'm too lazy to scroll a few pages over to find out. So I have a feeling this is probably the rest of the furniture that goes on the second floor. Love that blue-green color. I need to get more of that. I'd make a great car color. Or maybe more like a 90s style car. Did late 90s. What's going in there? Yeah, I still got a bunch of tutorials I'd really like to get going here. That's another reason why I'm just doing this in one sitting real quick. Okay, so it's a sink. That's what it is. Okay, you really can't see what I'm doing, huh? Oh, barely. Okay, so the sink... goes right here. Step aside. We'll put you up here. And it just sits right in there. Why don't we just put that in there when we were doing all that, huh? 
and here we got some of the doctor stuff so we got if you need you know like you got a syringe here's the thermometer put that in there and looks like a little sea shell I can even find it I don't know what that is or you know what that's oh it's the nurses things so you put that in her hair it's like what does that do and I don't see it well the nurses thing goes in here Oh, and this right here is the ice pack to put on somebody's head. So, if you can just get a hold of just those tools right there, you can make yourself a little clinic. Okay, oh. Sticker alert. And no, it's not what you're thinking. Gotta put a sticker on that. And I just thought of something. They have all the stuff here to do it. You can make a Pokemon Center. I mean, that's what this kind of looks like, in a way, roughly. Okay, so this just sits in here. So you just take this thing off to access the equipment. So I'll have to remember that when I do the review. And oh, <laughs> we're gonna have fun with this one. Look, you're gonna have to uh, put these tools in here. It's right here. I thought it was here. No, it's down here, and they give you an illustration on how to do it. <laughs> so you're going to have to really pay attention here with this. Um, can I set this down somehow? I mean, this is not meant for grown hands to do. So let's start with the spoon. You get a spoon with it. Put the spoon in there. Okay, that's one thing done. I can take a breather now because we got that in there. And we got the syringe. That's two things. Well, it's not so bad, but I don't need to jinx it right now. And I thought I saw it in here. It shows it in here. You get an stethoscope too. I've never seen this until now. And it's kind of like a medium plastic, not too soft. And that goes right below the spoon. Well, now things are getting a little tough. Oh. One of the figures fell out. It's like, what did I do, break it already? And, of course, the little light that they look into your ears and stuff. These are great pieces for a regular hospital or clinic. Why are we using them in here for? All right. So, that's what it looks like in there. Kind of dark in there, so... Yeah, let's get the binder out. I'm going to order the other halves of these. And this is sticker number eight. And I honestly cannot wait to get this done. It's fun. I'm just kind of getting tired and it's been a long day at work and kind of just want to unwind. Lego's unwinding but not with the stickers. 
There we go. We still got stickers on that, so we haven't finished yet. Of course we didn't. I think it's this chart here. And then... Yeah. Putting stickers on these is not a big deal. So you're just putting this on the clipboard. There we go. And then this just goes here. Well, there you go. So far, so good. And I only got like two stickers left. And we're sticking more things on here. Okay. Oh, it's just hard to get comfortable. You know, I don't ever recommend anybody to do this is to sit in one sitting and do your Lego. Oh, there's a sticker on this. Oh, I need that for something, but... Well, I'm going to have to do it. It's supposed to represent like a slide. This is supposed to be like a... microfine machine. Yep, that's exactly what we had to do. Make sure you're using your, um, I think it's dark gray, like a metallic gray stud. Stick this under here. It's not the black one. It looks black, but it's not. And then you put your binoculars. It's not a bad idea for a, a magnifying glass. I haven't took chemistry in years. And then this goes here. So I'm gathering as all this stuff now can be moved around if you choose. So there's something that goes here. Okay, so we got to put more tools in here now. Start with this. Okay, you're going to have to vacate too. <laughs> Um, so we got this little, uh, I don't know what you'd call these, it goes here. At least this one's easier to put in. And believe it or not, you get an ink pen. It's a nice, cool baby blue ink pen, but you get one. And... So like we get ourselves a chair and I doubt a figure is going to be able to fit in this um, now we can just get Lego to make studs that are like this that fit in these corners let's see if one of these actually fit in there Oh, they do. Not too well, but, uh, you know. Let's see. Set, put that in there. That's where it sits at. Oh, you know, I set mine too close. Can I get this out? Yes, I can. Okay. Well, I didn't get it right again. Now, will she sit in there now? Let's see. Okay, so her feet just rest up against the, that machine there, the computer. She does indeed sit in there. Okay, cool. It's like, that doesn't look like she'd fit in there, but she did. And then there's two plates that go up here. I still only have one sticker left on the whole sheet. And this thing just came coming apart.
Yeah, I'll tell you. I just got to wrap up some work and I am out for the night. <laughs> yep. Yeah, um, you know, like I said, this is not a bad build. No, I don't grade on if I'm fatigued out. That's just due to work. You know, this is a very enjoyable build. It's just the, uh, you know, I don't need to repeat myself. You already know what I'm going to say there. Oh, we have stickers that go on one more thing. And, well, it's not a piece that I want to put them on. If you can see the pieces here, yeah, you can probably guess what's left that you can put a sticker on. Okay, well that goes around there. I didn't know that they would fit around that. Pretty cool. All right. Oh. Thank goodness it's not on this. <laughs> I can use those for water. It's got a nice scratch on it too. Layla, what are you doing? Sending me scratched bricks? Not cool. And this needs the sticker right here. I thought it was the tile. So what this is here is the x-ray. I thought that would be transparent. So that's what goes on there. Can't wait to get back to the, the fun stuff here. I mean, this is fun, but not when I'm trying to get it done for a deadline. I mean, we're just about finished. And this goes on the bottom. I have a feeling this sits right there. And I haven't looked yet. And that's exactly where it goes. So it sits in here. And you can close it up. So I guess what you can do is you can set your animal in here, like the zebra. She can stand in here. Kind of. I don't know. You can do that. You know, I, I'm only guessing there. And that is it. And we did not have a lot of pieces left this time. Just some tiles and little trinkets and stuff. So, uh, we're done with the sticker sheet. That can go into the recycle bin. So it is playable inside, but as you can tell, the building is incomplete. I mean, you're missing this backside here. There's no doors. It's no roof. The front of this looks okay, but why don't we put a door in here or something? This is where the ATV is supposed to park. Okay, that makes sense. You know, hey. Um... I mean, that makes sense. And then you got the scorpion tree. Get this out of the way for you. And is this a playable model? Yes. Could this be dropped in a city? No. So if you want to put this in your Lego city, you're going to have to do a complete renovation on it. I'm sure that these figures here will probably thank you for it, too, because they don't want to go into an a roofless, doorless, wallless building that has like a bunch of windows. You know. But other than that, though, it's uh, it was a fun build. I it enjoy I enjoyed it. It kept my interest. Very bright, colorful, nothing repetitive. It's just uh, a shame about the stickers. Oh, I forgot Jeffrey the giraffe. Here, you can nibble on those tree limbs too. We'll put you back here. So you do get the giraffe. A lot of people want to get this set for this giraffe and I don't blame them. I'd like to get a couple more of these. 
you know if it's a friend's figure at all um, steel it's it's better than nothing <sighs> that's my cue right there so I hope everybody enjoyed the live build of well I don't know what it is it's um, it's this, it's a safari wildlife res safari wildlife rescue. Um, we have Dr. McKenna Jock Jockim. I still can't pronounce that in in Mia. Four one seven one seven. It's a nice cute little build for a young builder, but for an adult like myself, it was pretty easy. Just the stickers were a bit of a pain.